watching Thrifty Kniffy. Hello everyone and welcome to Thrifty Kniffy. Well, we're going to be looking at another old timer knife today. Got a smaller one here for us. Uh, there's a look at the warranty information that you want to acquire more. You can go to btibbrands.com. Check that out. Uh, this is a Battenfield made knife out of China. Get the cancer warning, so don't stick your knife in your mouth. And there's the barcode and the model number, 1060T. The 1060T is this little fella right here. It's called the Granddads, and it's two and three quarter inches long. Pretty small knife. Very, very good for the fifth pocket. And let's look at some of the details here. So we've got a saw cut Delrin handle. You can see it sort of smooths out on the edges and it ramps up towards the middle of the knife. It gives it a little bit of a swell there. And got the cigar shaped shield, nickel silver, the old timer stamped in there. These nice round bolsters. Smooth to the handle and those pins right there are very well done. You can see the saw, feel the saw cut a little bit, a little groove in the diagonal groove in the in the handle called saw cut Delrin. And then you got the intentionally proud pin there in the middle. The edges feel really smooth. It's like it's gotten a little more attention to detail on this one. It just feels smoother than some of the others I've received. So they did a really good job. And then there's brass liners on this one, stainless steel springs heat treated springs and then uh, not really seeing any gaps there corners look pretty solid eh, just ever so slight maybe down here on the bottom left but man those corners look pretty good no gaps in the springs you know this is a $16.73 knife on Chicago Knife Works just to kind of give you an idea of what we're looking at here there's the back. Same with the back. Only filling that middle pin, which is intentionally proud. You can see the swell on the handle. There's a top-down view there. You can see how the scissors fit in there. You got the clip blade in front and the main blade in the middle. But everything feels really smooth around the edges. I'm not filling any rough spots. The spring lays nice and flat in the closed position so let's take a look at the blades now, I believe these to be 7CR17 MOV much like all the standard rough or excuse me standard old timers so you've got a clip point blade here there's a pretty clean little blade edge made a pretty decent job on that one satin finish here's a look at your nail nick Pretty even grind, really, on the main blade. And you give you an idea of the blade stock there and how it tapers off. Let's look at the uh, Tang stamp. It just says Shrade. Then on the reverse, you get the model number, 1060T. And again, the blade edge looks pretty decent. Pretty decent. Nice point on it. Yeah, not bad. And it's got really good pull. I'd say it's probably about a 7. Right up. Straight up 7. Good action on it. Good close. I'll shut up and you can guys listen. That's pretty good action for a small knife like that. I'd say it's even better than that case that I recently reviewed. So, yeah, you do get some really good action. Now, the only thing is that the blade, uh, the nail neck is a little bit on the low side, so it takes a little more effort maybe to open, but it's, it's not that bad. They kind of overlap there, and you can see where that pin blade kind of <clears throat> forces them to put the nail neck towards the rear of the blade. But that's okay. All right, let's look at the pin blade. Now, one thing I notice is that uh, when you open this particular blade, it does catch a little bit on the nail nick or something there. 
doesn't open cleanly. But you can kind of just hear it snap when I open it. Listen. Hear that? So it just does sort of catch a little bit as I'm opening it. But it's not that big a deal either. And the pull on it's really nice too. I'd say again about a 7. It's just a tiny little pin blade. Uh, the grind on it, not so great. Uh, I think we got a uh, Friday at 4.20 p.m. kind of grind on this one, if you know what I mean. Because that one's kind of wonky. Little wonky on this side. Goes up the choil and everything. So not the greatest grind on this blade. But it does have a good pull. Again, it kind of catches just slightly as you're opening it, but it's easily overcome. Kind of just one of those things you're like, oh yeah, I gotta, you know, pull a little harder right there when you start to open it. Well, then once it snaps away from it, it's no problem. All right, let's look at the measurement on that guy. This one's uh, we'll call that one in. One and three eighths, and then it's got a cutting edge of about one and an eighth. Again, 7CR17 mob blades. No tang stamps on this particular blade, but you do have that little nail nick. And uh, it's easy enough to get your thumb in there, but again, it does kind of stick a little bit across that main blade. I'm not seeing any blade rub. I think it just Maybe catching a little bit on the nail neck of the other blade. I don't know. A little weird. But you got a little notch in there. You can see. Makes it easy to access that nail neck on this one. Alright, and so kind of the highlight of the show is the final blade. And the, the nail neck on this is in a little bit of an unusual position. Kind of have to learn where that is. It's right up here at the front. And then you just kind of hold that together and snap that open good pull on it let's say it's about a six and you get these little scissors here now i don't think they're any gonna compete with victorinox scissors i think their victorinox scissors are pretty phenomenal but they're not bad i've seen a lot worse and we can give this a little cut test got some paper here and you can see they're plenty enough sharp to cut through some paper no problem but you know, probably probably won't hold the edge quite quite as well as maybe the Victorinox ones will. Hard to say, but they do such a great job, it's hard to can compete. But good spring action there, not having any issues there. Well lubricated. The thing seems to work really well. And there seems to be more polish on the uh on the scissors than the other blade. The other blades were satin. This has almost got a a little bit of a sheen to it so it kind of stands out more of a mirror finish type deal but the pull on it again is like a six six and a half so nice and firm good snap good lock up very usable scissors got a nice handle to hold on to and then just scissor away so yeah pretty decent little knife a little old timer again, sixteen dollars seventy three cents on Chicago Knife Works. A little more expensive elsewhere. You might have to pay nineteen something like that, eighteen something on Amazon, something like that. But yeah, it's under twenty dollars, and uh, get a nice little fifth pocket carry with a pair of scissors and a couple of little blades. Pretty useful knife. So there's my review of the Granddad's old timer. 1060T. Hope you enjoyed the review, guys. If you did, make sure you like, subscribe, and hit the bell to be made of very, very many more videos to be made. And we will see you next time. Take care.